All right, let's get into leaks. This this okay. podcast is getting long. So it's all about the S10 this week, Dan. All Do right. You know why? Because you have an S9 and you're excited for the S10? Yes, I, I really want this S10. But because I spent almost a thousand dollars on my S9, oh. I had like I got three hundred dollars from handing in an old phone and you know clawbacks and I signed a contract, blah blah blah. I didn't spend a thousand, but it was still a really expensive phone. So on February twentieth. That is when the S10 is going to be officially unveiled. And I believe at the same event, they're going to do the folded Samsung phone. Yes, and really that'll be cool. Like, I, I can't wait I to report so. on that. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the leaks. We've had uh, quite a few leaks this week. So the first one, Evan Blass uh, posted an S10 leak on Twitter. And this one's interesting. So it's a case manufacturer that tends to be where some of the most reliable leaks come from is these case manufacturers. They start building advertising for their cases and that gets out into the wild. So Evan Blass showed a picture of uh, three phones, the S10e. So they, they call it the, yeah, the S10e, the S10 and the S10 plus, and it confirmed everything we already knew about it. So uh, it showed the Infinity O screens. It showed that the 6.4 inch had a dual facing uh, Infinity O screen cool. for, for the cameras. It showed the triple cameras on the back of the 6.1 inch and the 6.4 inch. And it showed a dual camera on the back of the cheapest version, which is the S10e. Uh, it also showed that the two bigger phones continue to have the curve. So uh, they call that the infinity screen on the S8 and S9, which uh -huh. I think is absolutely beautiful. Oh, Although yeah. functionally it has caused me some grief. If I'm trying to touch something on the edge of my screen, it doesn't always register properly, but that's minor, it's beautiful. So the, the bigger phones, the 6.1 inch and the 6.4 inch both have that beautiful infinity screen, but the cheap one, the 10E is a flat screen. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's that shows in the link. Uh, or in the leak, none of the three phones show a fingerprint sensor on the back. So that's good news. We Oh, that's going to be in the screen. That's right. And not just an in-screen fingerprint sensor like we're seeing on OnePlus and Huawei and, uh, and Oppo and a few of the other ones that have released it. It's going to be a sonic one. So Whoa. instead of taking a picture of your finger, it's going to send like sound up and it's going to go and test like how deep the ridges are on your fingerprint. Holy so cow. you know how Apple's got the 3D face print for your face? Yeah. That's great. Well, they're 3D face printing your finger. So you know, a lot more difficult to to trick it. Cool. Yeah. So oh, and get this, all three have headphone jacks on the bottom. No way, really? Yeah, Samsung. Oh, that's a big surprise. If this leak is real, they are not getting rid of the headphone jack, which wow. I think is awesome because I Me spent too. a lot of money on some Bose headphones. Yeah. You're welcome, Bose. <laughs> but I, I love the Bose headphones, and yeah, um, so that's great. So another leak, two leaks actually came from Ice Universe, also another famous leaker when it comes to phones in the Android world. And Ice Universe posted the first real life photo of the S10. Cool. And, you know, of course it's blurry and there's this big sticker on it, but it looks like somebody actually got their hands on an S10, took a picture, and it's the S10 Plus because you can clearly see the dual front facing awesome. selfie cameras yeah. in the Infinity O screen. Cool. Yeah. So it looks pretty cool. Um, and then the second leak he showed. Uh, it was a 25 second teaser that somehow he acquired from Samsung. So um, I don't know where he gets all this stuff from Samsung, must have somebody on the inside. And this one talks about the battery boost. Basically all three versions of the phone are getting an extra 500 milliamp hour uh, battery increases from the S9. Yes. And so the biggest one is going to have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, Jeez. which is the same as what's in the Note 9. So um, that's exciting. And it also claims in this leak that the supercharging goes from 15 watts to 22.5 watts, which means uh, you're going to be able to charge this giant battery real fast. Cool. So now. Will it cost $35 to charge? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you're going to drive away on your phone. Yeah. So the last leak. Uh, that I'm going to report on. There were more leaks than this. These are just the cool ones. Came from an Italian blog 
uh, called Tuto Android, and Ooh. it claims to have got the specs and the prices of how much these phones are going to be sold in Italy. So uh, I'll just go through this really quick and then hit some sure. of the highlights. So the small one, the S10 Lite or S10e, is going to come with six gigabytes of RAM. So the nice. cheapest one, six gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage for 885 US dollars. Okay. Okay, so that's the cheapest one. That's the one with the flat screen. It's going to have two cameras on the back. Uh, and one selfie camera in the Infinity O screen. Uh, and it's not going to have an underscreen fingerprint sensor. The rumors say it's actually going to be on the power button, which okay. is still cool. Yeah. So then the regular S10 is going to come in two variants. There's a six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gig storage, so same specs as the light. Uh, but because it's going to come with three cameras on the back and the bigger screen, it's 1,056 US dollars. The second version bumps up to eight gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of storage. So they skipped the 240 or 250, whatever that is. Yeah, 256. 256. So they skipped the 256, go right to 512 gigabytes of storage for $1,340. Holy, where are you guys getting all your money to buy your phones? <laughs> That's not the most expensive one, Dan. What? Let's go to the S10 Plus. So the S10 Plus, has the same specs as the other three. So the cheapest one comes with the six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and it comes in at just shy of 1,200 US dollars. So 1,192 US dollars. But it's not that much more expensive than the S10, but it goes all the way, get this, to 12 gigabytes of RAM. Jeez. 12 and one terabyte of no. storage. That's internal storage, Dan, if this is to be believed. And Samsung, I'm pretty sure, will keep the expandable memory option. And I bet you you could put another terabyte on a micro SD card. Cool. So potentially you could have up to two terabytes on this phone. That's wild. That's if the micro SD cards can keep up. Affordable one thousand eight hundred and nineteen US dollars. Okay. So how much RAM does your laptop have, Dan? Eight. Eight gigabytes. <laughs> <laughs> this one and I bought it this 12. year. It's a MacBook Pro. Yeah. Twelve gigabytes. Twelve gigabytes. That's crazy. 